Good uh, Saturday afternoon to you folks. Easter weekend here, Guatemala City, Guatemala. This is Gustavo Farel, accompanied by uh, Rafael Gatica at our, in our production desk. Pan American Championships coming to an end today. You are about to see a very, very exciting team competition number one singles match. USA-Mexico, Jake Bredenbeck, Rodrigo Montoya. Folks, these gentlemen are quite familiar to themselves here, obviously both on the IRT Pro Tour. Rodrigo number two currently ranked, Jake number three. Referee in charge of this match, Francisco Pacho. González de Gómez, perdón, de este, Guatemala, de, oh, estoy mal, de Colombia. Uno de nuestros árbitros profesionales que tiene ya años con nosotros. Tira de la moneda, coin toss. Playing three sets. First to 11, rackets tangled. Here we go. Jake serving, rally scoring. This is the last day and I think uh, tiredness is coming through there as we are in the eighth day of competition. Gary's on break this particular final. This match very important to both teams. Should Jake win? as Team USA. Team USA would be crowned with the men's gold. Should Rodrigo win, we're gonna see a match of doubles between the Bredenbecks and Montoya and his partner Hernandez. Ball down. Earlier today, Charlie Pratt in the number two singles defeated there's an appeal. Montoya said he got the ball. So he's a, uh, the call was two bounces, appealing that he got to it. We have a video assist review here, a uh, um, system that's worked very well. We've taken the lines, men and women, out of the game now. It's simply a replay, video replay of all the angles that one can see with the cameras. The same referee, Pacho Gomez, will determine if his call stands or if he changes his call. Call stands, it was two bounces, point, Bred and Beck. Appeal used, two appeals allowed per game, two appeals used. Ball short, second serve, one, zero. Segundo servicio, Bredenbeck, 1-0. Ball's up. Tiro fácil para Montoya en el frente. En la esquina izquierda acá de la cancha. Empatados en uno, servicio... Mexico, 1-1. Uno, uno. Tiro abajo, frente a la cancha. Punto de Bredenbeck, point Bredenbeck, 2-1. To the corner. Pass right side, Montoya. Cambio de servidor. Iguales dos. Segundo servicio. Tiro fácil para Montoya al centro de la cancha. Jake estuvo jugando hasta tarde ayer para ganarle a... Cuatro sets a Acuña de Costa Rica.
4-2 Montoya. Excelente tiro, ángulo superior ahí en la esquina derecha. Salió dos botes. 5-2, ventaja México. Pelota larga. Segundo servicio. Pelota viva. Llegó. Otra vez al techo. Buen retorno. Difícilmente no pudo sacarla del vidrio. Otro punto México. Seguro que los atletas ambos tienen que estar cansados después de ocho días seguidos de competencia. 6-2. Servicio legal. No, medio flojo ese tiro. Kind of a loose. Sidewall, front wall shot. Montoya. Jake in to serve. 3-6. Short ball. Second serve. Ball live. Good splat. Left side. Montoya. Cambio de servidor. Siete sirviendo tres. El último partido que queda es el partido de dobles, si fuese necesario, de México, Estados Unidos. Hombres. Como comentaba, tiene que ganar acá México para que se realice ese partido. Si no, sería campeón Estados Unidos si gana Bradenbeck. Lindo tiro desde el hombro. Dos paredes. Pared de costado, pared de frente. Ocho sirviendo tres. Punto, tiempo, nos quedamos acá. Want to thank our sponsors, Gearbox, for the, all of the balls, for the racket contributions, all, many of the players using the Gearbox rackets. The balls have been exceptional. They brought back uh, part of the game that existed in racquetball in the early 70s, late 60s, the ceiling ball game, allowing for mixed competition. And there was no mixed competition in the team play, just men's and women's. Women's champion and champions newly crowned Team Argentina, gold medal, Dominican Republic, the silver. Congratulations to you both. Splathead for the apparel, for the referees, for the administrators. Thank you, Joe Hall. Pan Am Sports. We are transmitting live on Pan Am Sports, the governing organization for all the 41 uh, sports that are involved, that are involved with the International Olympic Committee. And we're back here live again. Montoya serving nine, nueve sirviendo tres. Could get, ball's out, call there. There's a 12-foot line. If the ball goes out on the fly, the player that hit it out loses the point or loses the rally and the point. In this case, point Montoya. Possible first set match point, 10-3.
10 sirviendo 3. Primer punto para el set. Buen pase. El tiro directo sobre la lateral realizado por Jake. 4-10-4-10. Error no forzado ahí. Punto Montoya. Se acaba el primer set. Vamos a ver ese último punto. Lo forzó, levantó la cabeza con ese tiro. Nos quedamos acá. We'll stay with you here. We've had 10 countries that participated in this North and South American event, the Pan Am Racquetball Championship. The first after the Pan American Games, which took place in Santiago, Chile in November. This usually a quieter tournament as we get closer to the Pan Am Games again, which will be in 2027 in Lima. Uh, that will be the qualifying year under this tournament for the sport of racquetball. So the next couple years, looking next year to go to Tarija, Bolivia for the Pan Am Racquetball Championships next April, Easter week, 2025. 2026 has not been determined and even the Tarija event is not totally affirmative yet but it will take place and then the 2027 will be the qualifying tournament for the Pan Am Games which are going to take place in Lima, Peru. They were there in 2019 before COVID and we had a excellent excellent outing there. All the courts still intact and ready to be used again in the complex they have there with volleyball and some other disciplines game two now Montoya serving as I said the win here by Mexico will lead to a tie break tie break uh, doubles match between USA and Mexico Montoya Hernandez with Bredenbeck, Bredenbeck. Montoya has an ability to power the ball and then let up on some of the shots, whether they be pinch or straight down the line, straight in, straight back. Great control of the ball right with the racket, forehand and backhand. 1-0. Screen ball. Again, the screen is not just how close to the body the ball goes. It has to do with the position of the receiving player and the, the vision of the receiving player impaired by where the ball went by. Peeling that. So the call is two bounces. Montoya did not get to that ball by the referee. The appeal by Montoya is that he did. Let's see the review now by Arbitro Pacho de Colombia. See if the call stands or it is reversed. The call stands. That'll be a lost appeal for Montoya. Two appeals per game, per player. Lost appeals in the new system of scoring that we have here in international racquetball play. Still quite a few players 
here at the facility watching this last final, asking for the maintenance crew, which have been excellent in attending to each and every court that has been played on. It is humid in Guatemala, and the moisture, obviously, in the afternoon starts to show more in the courts as they heat up. So that is a lost appeal. Second serve, looked like that was a screen call. Balls up. As I said earlier, Montoya, great touch shots, forehand, backhand, great power shots. Dos sirviendo uno. Otra vez, buen pinch del lado derecha de la cancha. Servicio de Montoya, si ven la raqueta como la agarra, antes de pegarle la raqueta está casi paralela al piso. Montoya serve, when he drives serve, the racket is almost parallel to the floor, very low to the floor. The, the torque, the, the power he generates when he snaps that wrist. Balls down. Coach tells him, Coach Fajere tells him to appeal that. So the call is two bounces. Jake did not get to that. Jake is appealing that he did. Again, review by Pacho Gomez to determine if the call will stay or be reversed. Apelación perdida, appeal lost. Each player has lost an appeal now. They each have one remaining. Point Montoya. 3-1. Safety hinder called, not a penalty hinder. I think that was a good call. Jake is asking how that rule or how that call was. He felt he was well to the center away from that. But in the advent of safety, which is first here, we will replay that point. 4-1, Montoya. Long serve, pelota larga. La pelota tiene que botar, tiene que picar. Después de la, 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 la raya roja del medio, una vez. Mínimo. Lo está moviendo de lado a lado, Montoya a Bradenbeck. Bradenbeck ha jugado más juegos que Montoya. Se ve más descansado Montoya. Qué lindos toques que tiene. Esa pelota... Tocó pared de frente y murió rápidamente. Dos botes. 6-1. 
Buen punto. Tiempo. Bradenback. Vamos a verlo de vuelta. El último punto, por favor. Entre las piernas. Bien hecho por Montoya. Vamos a un breve comercial. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. So it's going to be fun. We're back live. Gustavo Farel here. Rafael Gatica. Court side. Court number six. Our main court for this Pan American Racquetball Championship 35th edition. Guatemala City, Guatemala. You are watching the second game here between Mexico, USA in the team competition. This is the number one singles. Number two singles earlier, Charlie Pratt defeated Mexico, Sebastián Hernández. 7-1 now, Montoya. Montoya moving Breden back left and right. Keeping the ball on the lines. Trabajando las líneas. Montoya, ocho sirviendo uno. Montoya ganó en la parte individual de nuestra competencia, la medalla de oro de categoría hombres sencillos. Ahí sí, buen tiro de Bredenbeck. Near side corner. Good shot, Jake. Punto. Two serving, eight. Good hands, Montoya comes back in to serve with a point. Rally scoring format 9-2. Always scoring, serve or receive. There you go. Nicely done. Jake, straight in, straight back. Three serving nine. It's a legal serve. He was not encroaching in the drive serve line area there. You can see his feet. He's over that second red line, parallel to the uh, side wall. Loose return by Jake, bringing it to 10-3. Montoya entra a servir. Punto para el set número uno. Pelota muerta. Buen tiro de Bredenbeck. Back in to serve Bredenbeck. Diez cuatro. Cuatro diez. Cuatro diez. Segundo servicio. Ball up. Bien hecho. Pinch, estaba muy atrás Montoya ahí. 5-10, inching back. Bredenbeck. Great snap. 
kill front wall straight in bread and back Xavier 610 ball call, called short my best to uh, Jay Munoz working back in El Paso Texas I'm sure he's watching, enjoying this feed. 6-10. Error no forzado, unforced error. Game two to Montoya, 2-0. Two Let's see that last replay. About 35 feet back, skipped it in. We'll be back in one minute. We are back live here. Gustavo Farel, Rafael Gatica, Gary Mazaroff. If this match continues the way you're seeing it happen, Montoya up 2-0 now. If he wins the next game or closes out the match, we will see a doubles final. Team Mexico, Team USA fighting for the gold medal in the team competition here Guatemala City, Guatemala, the last day of competition. Recapping, we started last Saturday with uh, three days of group play, basically seeding the players for what became the individual competition of the next three days of play. You're watching here Rodrigo Montoya, who did win the gold in the men's division. Jake was a bronze medalist. And then the last two days of competition, which were yesterday and today, were the team competition. To win as a team, you have to win two of three events, either two singles or one single and one doubles, depending on how the format is set up each uh, day. Today it was singles number two, singles number one, and then the doubles if necessary. So 0-0, zero, zero, here we go. Ball skipped. Jake knows it. Montoya comes in to serve. 1 0. Powerful serve. Pelota viva. Esa vez no. Yo tengo 2-0. Correcto. Marcador está mal. Ventaja Montoya. Montoya 2, Burnbeck 0. Excelente tiro de esquina. Tres cero. Servicio fuerte sigue de Montoya.
No. Se juega. Piso. Sistema de apelación ahora si un jugador se pasa de su tiro y el tiro anterior de su contrainquente ya no puede apelar esa jugada. 4-0. Está apelando. Yo también vi esa pelota buena, dice Rafa Gatica. Acá tenemos un muy buen ángulo. Pelota cantada corta por parte del árbitro Gómez. Apelación de, de México. En este caso, en este caso, el saque fue bueno. If the referee deems that ball was irretrievable, it could be a point for Montoya. But And again, yes, clarifying, if the referee would deem that it was irretrievable, then it could be a point for Montoya. In this case, Jake got his racket on it, and that's just being clarified right now. We have uh, our, our referee, uh, Gomez, conferring with Dean Scher of the uh, tournament desk to make sure that the call he made is the correct or uh, applied the rules correctly on the call. Let's see. So it is a replay. First serve. Had that ball died in the corner, had it been a point in the sense of irretrievable, and that appeal could have been made too had Pacho not agreed with what Montoya was requesting. Point five zero cinco zero. Qué lindo. Pase wide angle. Ángulo tocando la pared derecha perfectamente. No llegó a la pared de atrás. 6-0. Lindo tiro de esquina por parte de Jake. Cambio de servidor, punto. Entra a servir. Primer punto de este set. Bredenbeck 1-6, first point of this third game. Nice hands, showing he can hit softly and touch softly as well. Using that left corner, the ball kind of dies there if you touch it in, as he did. 2-6. Oh, tough return along the wall. Wallpaper ball, and Montoya put it right back down the same side. Very impressive. Good eye, ball, coordination there. Siete dos. Pelota corta. Segundo servicio. Buen tiro de Montoya desde el hombro. La mató en la esquina derecha de la cancha. No llegó Jake. Ocho sirviendo, dos. Otra vez. 
Pelota corta. Medio globo. Buen tiro cruzado por parte de Montoya. Otro punto. Entran a limpiar el vidrio. Ahora de la forma que vamos ahora. Este, enseguida después de este partido. Viene la, el partido de dobles. De Estados Unidos-México. Sí. Es que gana Montoya. Apelación. Servicio bueno. Por parte de Montoya. Apelación Bradenbeck. Que fue corta. Repasando acá en el monitor. No tenemos la repetición ahí. Gran, se repite. ¿Fue punto o se repite? No, no escucho. Corta. No escuchamos bien acá el que está anotando el score. A little bit light there. Good call by Jake appealing that. 3-9. Play had stopped. They couldn't hear the call by the referee. 3 9 for serve. Jammed Jake. Atasco en los pies de Jake. Ahora sí, entra a servir Montoya. Punto para el set. Posible para el partido. 10 3. Partido, México, nos quedamos acá, vamos a ver esa repetición del último punto. Aplauso para los dos jugadores. Esto todavía no se acaba. Ahora seguimos con el único dobles del día de hoy que va a ser México, Montoya, Hernández, enfrentando a Estados Unidos, Bredenbeck, Bredenbeck. Mencionándoles que el schedule de, de este año, ya tenemos todos los eventos planeados. We have the schedule for the IRF this year. The World Seniors, National Masters, combining efforts going to take place in the Lombard, Illinois. The Lombard uh, facility, which is up in the Chicago area, the 25th through the 28th of July. Our World Championships for the first time since 19. 96, when they were in Phoenix, are going to be in San Antonio at the end of August, the 23rd through the 31st of August. Looking forward to um, that in the U.S. for the first time since 96. And then at the end of the year, back here to Guatemala, the early part of December, principio de diciembre para los juniors, los mundiales de juniors, que va a ser del, como del 5 al 15 de diciembre. El calendario ya está firme, esperando que nos sigan viendo on the IRF Networks and Pan Am Sports Channel. En 10 minutos estamos de vuelta con ustedes para el comienzo de la final de dobles y ganador sería medalla de oro, el perdedor medalla de plata en esta competencia de equipos varonil Panamericanos 35 edición. <música>